All right, guys. So yesterday we talked about Sea Fairy Cookie and whether her buff is going to be coming out, and whether you know the buff is actually going to be making her viable or not. And I kind of asked you guys a question: Hey, can you guys make a comment talking about some of the buffs that you might be able to give her in order to make her viable? However, after talking about the worst legendary right now, I think it's about time we talk about the worst ancient, and that is going to be Dark Cow Cookie. So the title of worst ancient is actually going to be a little bit worse than the title of worst legendary, just because of the fact that we have a new event that is available for every single player, and that is going to be the Might of the Ancient. So if you guys have been watching my epic only challenge and how I started, then you guys would have seen that I have a pure vanilla. And a lot of people still ask in the comments, hey, how do you have a pure vanilla already? And that is because of the fact that every single new player, every single returning player who did not take advantage of the Might of the Ancient are able to choose out of one of the three Ancients currently available from Pure Vanilla, Hollowberry, as well as Dark Cacao. However, a lot of new players, uh, without watching any of the videos, without uh, kind of researching who's going to be the best Ancient, uh, decides to choose Dark Cacao just because, just five visuals. He absolutely looks the most amazing and he looks really really good and he once was really really good however nowadays dark cow has been pushed out of the meta from both pve pvp and the cookie alliance and a lot of different aspects of the game just because of the fact that there has been a lot of new cookies come out that are going to be functioning a little bit better than him and the reason why dark cow is in a really tough spot is because of his skill and the things that he does with his skill all right so if you guys look at his skill he does a lot of different things however because of the fact that he does a lot of different things and he does not specialize in one uh it is really hard for him to be used in a lot of different comps where one cookie is able to really 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 specialize in what they do so if you guys look at Dark Cow, he does a decent amount of damage with his uh, sword strike when he goes up into the air. He has a little uh, nice uh, debuff resist that, uh, you know, Pure Vanilla as well as Hollowberry did get after their buff. Uh, and he does a decent amount of debuffs as well. 15% defense as well as 10.8% attack. And also on top of that, he does do a injury, which is pretty much kind of, uh, I'll have to say, quote unquote, really, really bad nowadays. Just because of the fact that Pure Vanilla is able to alleviate half of that. And also, BTS or any of the other cookies with debuff resist is able to lessen the effect of injury. And on top of that, uh, you know, you can see that he has a zap, which is going to nullify HP shield. But there is also another cookie that is going to completely get rid of any buff that the cookies are going to get. And that's going to be Stardust. So he has a lot of unique ability and that's why he was once called the king of debuffs. However, nowadays with his little number, right? A 15% defense reduction is really, really small compared to someone like Milky Way as well as Space Stoner who are going to be really, really specialized in defense reduction against a lot of the enemies as well as, uh, you know, against any of, you know, the bosses as well with Milky Way. So Milky Way is able to just do way more uh, defense reduction. And also on top of that, you know, we have uh, Space Donut as well. And on top of that, we also have Captain Caviar who is going to do 42% uh, defense reduction, right? So uh, there's a lot of different cookies right now who are, you know, able to specialize in that one aspect that, you know, Dark Cacao had a favor for because he had a lot of different things. Back in the days, you know, this 10% uh, attack as well as the 15% defense as well as injury and zap, everything else just kind of uh, really allowed Dark Cow to thrive inside of the arena as well as the World Exploration and also inside of the Cookie Alliance uh, and completely shut down Pure Vanilla back in the days because he would just completely get rid of Pure Vanilla's HP shield which made him really really good. However now that Pure Vanilla did get a buff and his complete kit has been revamped he has an amplified buff as well on top of the HP shield which is going to last 10 seconds and his HP shield, if dispelled uh, in middle, all right, is going to at least heal the cookies every couple seconds, right, uh, for a very long time. And he also has that 15% injury alleviation, which completely makes Darker Cow's, uh, you know, whole kit just not good enough for the arena. And the one main reason why Darker Cow is, you know, not being used is because of the fact that he is going to, you know, be considered out of the three. Uh, ancient slash legendary that you're able to use uh, it's just better to go with Hollowberry, pure vanilla moonlight or black pearl or frost queen and pure vanilla so there's just better combinations that you can use out of the three restrictions 
or three limitations rather than putting in dark cacao hence the reason why he's not being used anymore so with a lot of different cookies coming out kind of overshadowing the specialty that dark cacao had it is better to go with somebody who has a specialty in one specific area and does really, really well in that rather than going with Dark Cow, who is going to be good with the jumble of different things. All right. And not specialized in them. And honestly speaking, it is a bummer that Dark Cow is not being used as often because one, he has a super, super awesome skin like this one right over here that was released because of viewers uh, and because of players, uh, you know, requests by Dev Sisters during his, uh, you know, story. However, uh, the only thing that I can think about right now that will pretty much bring him back into the arena or uh, into a specific team as of right now is going to be whether he's going to get a buff uh, revolving around the dark element and make him specialize in that at least in order to make a specific comp for him rather than overshadowing again another different cookie by buffing up his you know defense or buffing up his injury or anything like that and completely outshadowing that specific cookie that is already being used i think a better way for dark account to get buffed is to add that dark element and slowly transition towards a specific comp rather than making a super super overpowered one cookie and make that cookie overshadow the other and making the power creep of this game even worse and worse but anyways guys let me know down in the comments below just like how you guys did with sea fairy any of the buffs that you would like dark account to have and uh that will pretty much bring him back into the meta but thanks for watching guys and i'll see you guys all on the next one